Welcome back to our channel and in today's video we're going to be doing our Ariana Grande meet and greet experience. Let's, Let's get, get started. started! Story time with G and Alex. So we're going to start from the very beginning about when we arrived at the venue. We're going to give you all the dates. Should we not tell them where where and when we saw her? That would be a good idea. This is why you need to start stories because I just <laughs> skipped half of it. So we saw her on the 19th of August at the London O2 Arena on the Sweet World Tour. When we got to the arena, we were just prancing about with it because we're early, because you know, I was gonna be early for concerts. Concert queenies. <laughs> so we queued up in the VIP line when it was time, which was half past three. I think the actual checking time we went to half past three, but they let us start checking in early. Yeah, there was, yeah. So I think it was about three o'clock we started yeah, checking three, in. Yeah. So we're in this big queue, it's like full of meet and greet and sound check people. Yeah. They sort of check your tickets and they've got like a list of what wristbands to give you. You just go to the desk, you tell them your name, and you're like, this is my ID, this is me, hearing in person, don't mob me now. So then they check the little list, they tick you off, you get your wristband. So you get two different wristbands because we were in like the pit standing section. So you get a wristband to say you're in pit. Yeah. And then you get a wristband for meet and greet. Yeah. Now, I do have the wristband somewhere. Let's show you the wristbands. A nice sparkly blue wristband. That was the pit one? Yeah, yeah. That's the one you got in pit. So even people who didn't have sound check or meet and greet, if they just had pit in general, yeah. they'd have got one of these wristbands. So obviously there's two different pit sections, pit one and pit two. We were in pit, pit two. two. So when you're facing the stage where we're on the right, right side, side, the meet and greet wristband is just this little orange, orange one. wristband. Let's see if you can it see It says the date on it as well. It does. It I says really cool, cool. London, August 19th. But when we got to the desk, they also like sort of explained what was happening. They said the queue for the VIP lounge will open at half, half. half four, I think he said. So we had to go to a certain entrance and queue up there when it was time for VIP lounge. So that happened first and then it was sound check and the meet and greet. So anyway, we just sort of walked around for a bit. Skip to half past four because you don't want to know about it's just roaming around the O2. We queued up in this nice long line and then you could also write down questions for sound check. But us being us, didn't forgot. get a piece of paper or we, a pen. When we were queuing up to check in, they told us to do that, but we forgot. So, yeah, you know, we're in the sound check line. Everyone's like, what questions did you ask? And we're like, ha, nothing, because we forgot. Because that's the kind of people we are. We forget everything. Yeah. But anyway, we didn't really have any questions planned, so no. it weren't too much of a big deal. So we're in the queue to go into the VIP lounge. And basically, you go through security, they check, like, your bags. Even if they were got clear bags, they did, like, a big... Check, rummage yeah then didn't the scanners down with one of them yeah scanners and then you walk through like a metal thing yeah and walked through like a big metal frame so it's not like airport security it was like very strict and then they got us phones they locked them away in these little pouches which was a shame because that means we couldn't take any pictures in the vip lounge and there was like a big border with balloons and obviously the big like, yeah. border with a face and i just wanted to take pictures but we couldn't but you know it's okay we didn't even get our thingy what thing do you know the thing that we did in the lounge like the weird picture thingy. Yeah. There's like a thing and you could do like a, is it a GIF or a GIF? And you can no, do like, it's a GIF. You can get that one. And you can do loads of pictures and you can get an email to you, but ours never got sent to us, so it just got lost in the email world. And the sweetener cocktails were really nice. Yeah. Like, we're sort of just like skipping from bits of it. We're like yeah. telling 10 stories. We can't, we can't tell a straight story. Right, we'll try and go in order. So yeah, we went into the VIP lounge. We got given the goodie bags. We'll show them this before we explain everything in the lounge. Maybe a good idea. Yeah, so this is just the ticket, yes. obviously. Right, so this is the bag everything came in. It just says Sweetener World Tour. It's just like a little backpack. And she's in at the top. That's super cute. The lanyard. We got given this when we got the wristbands. So it's just a picture of her and it says Sweetener World Tour. It just comes like this. Pop it around your neck. Felt really fancy. I love the... The... I like when I watch everyone else's videos, they do this, and I'm like, does it really make that noise? And now I'm like, it makes it, that it noise. Tips, it taps. We also got a little mirror. Obviously, we both got a bag each, but there's no point in both showing you the same thing. It's the same thing. Cute little mirror, which is really useful. I love carrying a little mirror around. It's like a good mirror as well. Like, it was heavier than I expected it yeah. to be. It is quite heavy. It's like, got a hefty weight. It has. It just says Sweet New World Tour on the front in just white writing. It's really cute. Pretty simple, pretty cute. Very cute. Sort of like a. A weird matte kind of. Yeah, it's like a soft matte. Yeah. It's quite a nice texture. We also got a packet of that iron on patches. So should we open these up? So one of them just says, thank you, next. This one says, sweetener world tour. The next one is just purple and it says, sweetener. 
it's the thank you next in the style of the Mean Girls Burn book. I think that one might be my favourite. I do like this I one. I like that one. The next one is the little love art break up with your girlfriend. Super cute. And we have the Seven Rings one. I really like that one too. I like, I don't know, I like... I think these two are my favourites. I like them. Nah, these two are my favourites. Okay, next thing. Uh, my nails won't let yeah, me open this. Yeah. This is just a poster of Ariana. It's the, like, sweetener album cover. Just unrolls like this. It's cute. A little picture. It's quite good quality. It's not Would like you keep a... it that way or would you turn it upside down like it actually is? I don't know because that's the proper way, isn't it? Yeah. But would you really have it hung on your wall like that? Where? Because there's no writing on it. Like, it doesn't have the it writing. It doesn't indicate which way it should go. And then the next thing we got which this is my favourite thing, no, is the not. Cloud Perfume in mini version. So it literally comes in a little box, but like a mini version. No. Isn't that just the most adorable thing that in the so world? Cute. It's just a tiny little cloud. But then Weird. you take the lid off and it's not a spray, it's just one of them that you... It's the tippy version. It's the tippity top one. So that's everything we got in the VIP bag. So let's carry on the story. We're moving into the lounge, lounge area. So basically, you've got a token and you can go to the bar and get a cocktail to do alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So obviously me, got an alcoholic drink because I am of age. Me not being of age, I did not. And they were so nice, so I decided to get I did try one. the alcohol one though. It was very nice. Yeah, I gave her a sip of mine. And it was nice, but it was like strong. Yeah. But you know, I got another one. It cost me a whole 13 pound. But there was also like a little table laid out with like all the different perfumes so you could spray them. And you can also get some of these little gems. I'm not sure if you can see them. Let's try them. So there's some little pink ones and some white some, ones. Like silvery white ones and some blue ones. And I just saw. I got a few different colours. But you got a lot more than me, didn't you? I did. Yeah, so I just grabbed them. Thought they were just cute to save. I've not worn them or anything. There was a pick and mix table. Yep, she decided to get like two different kinds of sweets. What did you get? I got strawberries and I got cola balls and I got you two toffees. So there's just like this whole collection of jellies and she decided to only get two different kinds. I didn't like any of the others. And then there was also a table with like little buns and little macaroons. Macarons. Or whatever you want to call them. I was just... They were good. Like, I weren't too keen on the macaroon macarons. Like they were, they were nice but they weren't my favourite. Like the little cake thingy I had. I don't know which one it was but oh my god that was nice. I was just like at that table. I had a drink in one hand and then I'm trying to hold like all my bags and then I've got a yeah. bun and then I've got a macaroon and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that lasted probably about an hour, an hour and a half. An hour and a half, I think. Yeah. Obviously, his phone's locked away, so we didn't know the time. It there was, were no clocks. It was very strange. I had to go up to the bar person and be like, what's the time? Before we move on from the lounge, I just want to put it out there. Look, like, when you was in the lounge, you could tell the difference between stands and actual fans and people who had money and was just there because they could afford it. Yeah. So you have, like, people in, like, personalised denim jackets that they made and, like, the merch and like and like having fun yes people that were like running around like us trying so to experience happy. everything yeah and then you had the people sat there dressed up glam head to toe like sipping on their cocktail like like they were better than everyone you else. know like when you're in a nightclub and you got them bitch people that sit in the corner and judge you you had them kind of people and it's like look love you're only here because you've got their money now let's move on from the lounge we have to get into two separate lines because there's two separate pits so they're like yeah. made you split into your yeah separate lines so we all head into sound check. Yeah. I think how many people did I count were in sound check altogether? Like approximately. A hundred and something? I wanna say there might have been a hundred in each pit. Yeah, something like that. And you did she did count them all. She did a head count while she like, was in the pit. An approximate head count. Yeah. So there was about a hundred people in like each pit. Pretty much yeah. everyone got to like barrier. barrier Cause yeah. pits are like massive. Yeah. So, I mean, some people wear a barrier because they were trying to squeeze up and get as, close. Get as far as the could. But we just went to, like, the back barrier, so we had, like, a view over everyone's heads, yeah. and it was, like, really good. Yeah. So, in sound check, the dancers came on stage first, and then she walked out, Ariana. Mm -hmm. Is she, obviously. And then she basically did, like, a and a didn't she? With yeah. the questions, which we mentioned earlier. Yeah. We forgot to do. Who was it that was there? There was Jo, one. Um, was it Courtney and Toulouse? Yeah, they were sat there in the seats and then Toulouse yeah. started barking at one point. It was like, burp, burp, burp. but like a bit more Toulouse. But yeah, the questions. Someone asked her what her favourite Pokemon was. I don't remember her answer because I don't watch Pokemon, so. No, neither. 
there was a question about Harry Potter asking about what a favourite character was. And I can't remember because I don't watch Harry Potter either, so... Um... No, I do. I just can't remember what she said. And then someone asked her to do her Julia Andrews impression. Which she did. Very happy about. It took a lot of persuading. But she was yeah. like, if I do this, can you, like, not ask me to do it again? But, like, in an Ariana voice. Someone asked what she misses about not being as famous. And she basically just said sometimes she doesn't go out because she doesn't, like say no when people ask her for a picture so if she's not up for that then she'll like stay in whereas before she yeah. never had to stay in and then there was something about if she feels pressured to be a good role model and then she she answered being like no she's a human she knows she messes up and that's part of being a good person okay, so after that they did the play a second of a song and guess what it is we game. were awful at this game i had no clue i was just stood there like but like when they said the answer you was like oh yeah it's yeah. It's blah this. blah blah and we literally know every single one of her songs so it's not as though we didn't know it because we didn't know the song it's like we, we just can't tell it from a second in my it. brain just does not but like function. everyone there was so good at it but some of them there was like one of them and literally there must have gone around about 15 people and there was like nope nope was that the one of the christmas songs like Santa yeah tell me where is something tell me yeah so basically they ended up having to play more than one second because nobody could get it no and then everyone was like oh yeah, yeah obviously so yeah they did a few of them. What so other songs did they use? Side to side, and then we was on Ariana's story because we were all rapping Nikki's bit. Oh yeah, we were on Ariana's story. No, I don't mean to say that I'm famous or anything, but like, okay, so that was pretty much sound check. So then like the security people like from her team basically told the people who just had sound check to stay where they were. They'd come round and unlock the phones for them, and anyone with meet and greet, so the orange wristbands. Yeah. There was like 40 of us, I think. Yeah, there was 40 meet and greets all together. Uh, so we all had to like leave the pit and all line up in a single file line and they took us down to like this other area. They walked us down there. We were stood there for about five minutes before like anything got said to us. Yeah. And then one of the team came out and gave us this like big speech about the rules and stuff. Yeah. There was The rules were basically just like don't say anything upsetting about like death and or murder. Like anything just give a good vibes like wish luck for the show like i mean i missed half this speech because one of the first things she said was you can use that toilet if you need it and, and she it was dying <laughs> so she listened to the speech and updated me i just yeah. ran to the toilet i was like sorry bitches yeah. i'm leaving this toilet right here yeah after the speech we were waiting like a good while like we literally yeah. just sat on the floor like oh yeah because we didn't get his phones back obviously because we were meeting her so we yeah. still didn't know what the time was we were like how long have we been sat here for yeah. skip ahead to when the queue starts moving there's basically yeah. like this table outside of the room that you meet so yeah. you put all your bags on there as you go in and you collect them on the way out so you're like in the corridor and then there's like a part of a room the corridor and then the room where you meet her yeah so like about three two or three people at a time they take in to stand in this yeah. corridor and then one at a time you go in to meet her and there's like a little photo booth yeah where you take the picture and everything so yeah we were right near the back of the queue i'd say there were about five or six people behind us maybe yeah like there was one girl who came out she was like she knew my twitter handle or that something. was at well soon on twitter oh cute and then she came out crying and then that that made us nearly cry yeah she was crying and we was like <laughs> oh bless Oh like gosh. all day i was saying like i'm gonna cry when i've met her like she did just I a, was... a spoiler yeah so we get to the front we put his bags on the table we do and then we're like she's there like i can't breathe oh i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna cry i'm gonna die I'm gonna have she's having like a breakdown and i'm just like chill just chill she was like don't cry until you've met her and i was like i'm not planning on it don't do it. So no. she went in first. I forced her to go first. I'm like, you're going yeah. first. Oh, well, I went in last time when we met Camila. Yeah, when we met Camila Cabello, like, I went in first. Did we yeah. do a video on that? I don't think I don't so. think we did, but no. anyway, we met Camila Cabello. She's a cute angel. Yes. Okay, you can tell your experience. It's your turn to walk into the booth. What happened? I'm just going to point it out there that I don't remember any of it. I feel like I just blacked out for this. She said she liked your eyeshadow. No, I'm getting to that. I'm just saying. Basically, when I walked in, she was like, hi, how are you? Like, and just like, <laughs> Ariana. Sounded more like Billy Ray Cyrus. But, um, <laughs> I was like, hi, how are you? And I was like, hi, I'm good. How are you? And she was like, I'm good. And I, I, at this point, like, 
earlier I'd kind of thought what I was going to say but like I didn't really have anything planned so I kind of just word vomited her and I was like are you okay are you drinking enough water are you sleeping well are you well and she was like I'm good like I just drank and then she was like are you drinking enough and I was like meh I know I said like oh my god this is so embarrassing like I'm freaking out right now and she was like oh my god that's so cute and then I was like oh you're so pretty like or something along those lines and she was like oh my god I love your eyeshadow and then I was I died then and then I was like oh for our pose can we pee some power and then we did like the picture and then like I hugged before we left and she was like I love you and I was like I love you too and then he was like see you on the flip side mother trucker I didn't say that <laughs> no, and then I came out and I was like shaking I see her and then I get out of the room and I like, get my bags and I'm like I'm like, there's like five people there and they're all just looking at me and I'm like so shaky that like I couldn't get the, my phone out of my bag to get unlocked. I'm like fumbling <laughs> everywhere. Like I just, I dropped this jumper that I bought like on the floor and, I, and then I was just like tears streaming down my face and then I get my phone unlocked and like I message my friend being like, I am not okay. <laughs> and I'm just like in tears like she ruined my makeup <laughs> literally literally so we're walking yeah. and she's currently talking to someone like at first when i'm like fully like first like what <laughs> in english can i english no so yeah. anyway yeah i walk in she's talking to someone and then she looks at me and she's like hi how are you but a bit less froggy <laughs> and a bit more ariana marie yeah and then i'm like i'm good how are you and she's like yeah i'm good and then she's like oh my gosh you look so pretty and i'm like oh my gosh so do you but you always do yeah. and she was like oh thank you and then i told her i have like a story to tell i was like okay i've got a story to tell you and she's like okay go on then or okay i'm listening or something, she does. something along them lines basically yeah. and then she's like staring at me with like her eyes obviously <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna stare at me with <laughs> her feet so then i basically explained the story of how we met a few years ago and there's this paparazzi picture took of us like when we were taking a selfie and his tongues are like yay far apart yay and i was like all your instagram stands were like making memes out of us and it like went a bit viral and i was like whoa this is crazy i just had to tell you that because it was like the craziest moment <laughs> of my life and then she was like oh my gosh i think i remember that I think I remember seeing that and she like told me she remembers actually seeing like the memes and shit. I was just like, yeah, it was so weird. And then wait for it. Wait for it. And then she goes, oh my God, I remember we met outside that radio. And I was like, <gasps> I didn't literally do the, but I was the like, dramatic. I was like, yes, we met outside radio one. She knew where we met. Ladies Ariana, and gentlemen. She recognized my face. She did. And she put two and two together and was like, that radio show yes she remembered where we met she literally remembered me ariana grande remembered me and me basically me. best friends we are basically besties she literally told me where we met like this does not happen to people like will me. your fave ever no <laughs> fave will never <laughs> honestly my fave just knows who i am yeah. so that's the tea on that one yeah. so yeah and she was like yeah our tongues were like so close and she was like, let's not do that again. Or like something. Yeah. And then she was just like making jokes of it. We went to set the picture and I told her what pose I wanted for the picture. I wanted like to touch each other's cheeks and to do a power. But um, in the picture, I forgot to power. Snap. How? Why? What? Who even knows? But like before we took the picture, I was sort of looking in the wrong place. So whoever's behind the camera was like, look at the black dot. And I'm just like so glad they did because it gave me a chance to get my... My chin's tucked in a bit. <laughs> I uh, got them sorted. So the picture isn't too bad. I mean, we'll put them both on screen and then yeah. possibly... You should go move. like it on Instagram. Thanks. My Instagram's down below. Yeah. Instagram's in the description box below if you want to go see them like properly. Shameless self-promotion. And then after we took the picture, she was like, I thought you were going to ask to touch tongues again. Mm -hmm. And I've been like, hell no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like... I can't remember what I said. It's just a bit of a blur. She told me she liked my nails. I didn't have these nails on. I had like some glue on, matte blue ones. Yeah. And I was like, oh, thank you. They're just cheap stick on ones. And then she was like, oh my God, they're matte. And I was like feeling them. And then I like asked to look at her nails and she had like white nails with like a design on. And I was like, cute. oh, they're so cute. I mean, I hugged her a few times in all of, all of this going yeah. on. And I think I just told her that I'm like, 
proud of her and I told her I've been a fan since Victoria's and she's like, oh, they're so cute, thank you. I forgot to tell her that. I just saw a word vomit at the end. I was just like, look, I'm just so proud of you. Like, you've achieved so much. I've supported you since Victoria's and she's like, oh my God, they're so cute, thank you. Yeah. And then, yeah, and I hugged her again and then she told me to enjoy the show and I told her good luck for tonight and then we just said bye and I said, love you. Yeah. And she's like, love you. And then... I don't think I've missed anything out. I, well, I don't feel like I have missed something out. So it did actually last quite a while. Yeah. It was like not rushed. It or wasn't anything. rushed in the slightest. No, you could like pretty much spend as much time as you, you wanted in there. Yeah. Obviously within reason. So we left. We were like near the back of the meet and greet queue, like yeah. I said. So there's only a few people left to meet her. As we went to the toilets after that. Yeah, after we met her, we went to the toilet. Uh, she was just having a breakdown. Yeah. For a good 15 minutes. Yeah. Um. I just like updated a few people like, oh my God, I just met her. And I told them the story. Yeah. And then after that, we went to the pit. We did. Obviously at our show, they let General Pit in first like, before, before us yeah. because we were still meeting. So soundcheck people stayed in there, then the General Pit, and then it was us. So we didn't think we were going to get to a barrier, but we managed to get to like the same spot as we did for soundcheck. So sort yeah. of the further back barrier. Just like a bit further down. Yeah. So that like, right, how the stage is like that. We were like yeah. on... The, the barrier near yeah. that out a bit. Yeah. So when she were like running around the stage, we were like front yeah. row basically. But it were pretty chill. Like people were running around the pit pretty much all the time. Yeah. Like the people who were near that little stage, you know, where she walks and stands, they all stood there. But they were like people further back were just sort of running back and forth. And yeah. Were, like really chilled. We stayed in our spot though. Yeah, we because did. we just wanted to be barrier for when she walked past. But yeah. Yeah. So the show went on. It I, was Social House then LMA. Yes, and then Ariana came on at yeah. what time? Half past nine? I don't know, but I need to put it out there that I'm very much like in love with Social House. Like they are so good. They are actually so good. I didn't even know any songs, and I'm just there like, yes! you know, like I knew them like before. Like, I knew the songs. Like I knew everything. I was just like bopping a along when they came out, and it was so good. Yeah, they are like, really good. Go check them out. Love. And we're also seeing her again on the 19th of this month in yeah. Sheffield. That's just we've just got seated tickets for that. Yeah. Bits, you know, so I'll probably do like a video of showing the concert footage from that. Yeah. In case anyone's interested. But that's pretty much the end of the experience. We're sorry it's been a bit all over the place. We can't stick to one straight story. We're useless. So well, that's the end of the video. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. Yeah. If you knew it, please subscribe. Oh, if God. you are an Ariana fan, do subscribe. There'll be more Ariana videos in the future. We might see you next time. Maybe. Maybe if we can be bothered to show up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh!